Okay, and then the next maneuver, the Humpty Bump, is what we call it for slang. Uh, and as we uh, draw the arresty symbols, you see we start with the dot, come around, we end with a line. And it, even though it's drawn as a hard corner, that's the, just the arresty drawing convention, this is still a, a quarter looping segment. And then we have a half loop across the top and another quarter loop to finish. Even though it is drawn this way, you do not have to finish the Humpty Bump uh, at a lower altitude than you began. Uh, there's no judging criteria about uh, how low or high the finish can be compared to the entry. Now, these radii here do not have to be the same. But here's the one thing that you do have to do, is that as you're flying the Humpty Bump maneuver, so we're going to start, pull, do a quarter loop into a vertical line, and this vertical line must be exactly vertical according to your zero lift axis. Anytime that you depart level flight, uh, you're no longer being judged by center of gravity track, you're being judged by your zero lift axis, whether you're on a 45 or, uh, or a vertical. And that's whether you're going up or coming down. So you need to have a good vertical here. Now, most airplanes, they will tend to fall off one way or the other, either negative, meaning on your back, or positive. So in the case of the decathlon, as you are on your upline, and as you slow down, the airplane will tend to want to creep on its back. And so you're going to have to move your pitch, meaning toward the pilot's head or toward the pilot's feet, in such a way to where your zero lift axis is exactly perpendicular to that horizon. Now, as you begin the Humpty Bump, you're making a half loop segment across the top. And then you're establishing, establishing sorry, a vertical downline, and then you're pulling back to level flight. Wherever you begin your half loop segment, it must be a constant radius all the way across the top, and you must finish exactly horizontally across from when you started. Now, what a lot of people will tend to do is that as they're going uphill, they're getting, they're very slow, and so they need to fly out, and they need to round out this portion of the loop. So this is like quarter number two in our loop discussion from earlier, and so you need to fly this out and round it out because you're going against gravity at this point. But then as you come around for the second half of your half loop, you're going to be accelerating and gravity's pulling you down. So you actually have to tighten this part up uh, because you're going faster. So you have to have a, a faster rate of pitch change so that the second half loop equals the, the, the first half. So the common term will be that if you don't do that, it's called finishing late. If you're flying over here, and you're flying slow, and this gets tight, and then as you speed up, you, it widens out, you will tend to finish here. And so however many degrees there, that's your downgrade right there. So uh, that's one of the things you'll have to think about is flying out and rounding this out when you're slow, and then as you start speeding up, quicken that pace up and get it around. So it'll be slow, 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 quick, 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 quick to get back around to get to your downline so you don't finish late. So in the case of the Humpty Bump, you want to have a good vertical upline just like in the hammerhead. And uh, again, like the hammerhead, there's a tendency to go negative on the downline. But the most important point is that uh, the half loop has to finish straight across from when it started. So uh, it'll be a very slow rate of pitching in the first half and a very quick rate of uh, pitching on the second half. So this looks like the hammerhead, except now that I've got to 80 knots, I'm gonna pull so across the they're top. They're slow, and they quicker through here. Establish your downline. Thousand, one, two, three, and pull up right along the road. Now the second Humpty Bump is gonna be a pull, push, pull Humpty Bump. So I establish my upline, wait to the same point, 80 knots, and then give forward stick, and do an outside. Yeah, and half loop. Now, because the gyroscopics, it takes a lot of right rudder as you're pushing so that you don't uh, yaw off heading. And the, f and the harder you push, the more right rudder you'll need.